In this Photoshop quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make a simple metal texture. So we've got a 500 by 500 pixel document here, just a standard size. Um, and remember when you're doing this, make your document a little bit bigger than you want uh, the actual metal to be, um, because around the edges it gets a little funky, so um, you need to crop it a bit. I found it's about 15 pixels uh, on each side. Uh, for a 500 pixel document so you can use that ratio to figure it out um, so I'll turn off my grid so the first thing you need to do is get a dark gray background color something like that looks good and press alt on a PC option on Mac and then delete or backspace and it'll fill your layer with the color of your foreground uh, and then we go up to filter noise add noise and I found using around about 20% uh, makes a good texture. So do that, and then go up to filter again, blur, and then motion blur. And somewhere around the high 50s, I think uh, works best. But uh, it depends if you want more of a grainy metal or uh, something more uniform. Um, so I'll bring that up a bit and then hit OK. And the last part to this is go up to Filter, again, then Render, then Lighting Effects. And I've got a metal uh, preset here, and I'm just going to turn some stuff down. Uh, so um, you can pause the video right now and take a look at my settings. Um, so just pause the video now and look at my settings and then uh, you should have a fairly good effect but you may need to play around with things. So just click OK and we've got a metal uh, texture here. Uh, you can play around with your uh, background or your lighting effects to uh, make this less white if you wanted to. Um, and something I like doing is cropping this because uh, around the edges it gets quite grainy and stuff. And uh, there you go. Now you got smooth metal and you can use this in posters and websites, all that kind of stuff. So uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video please comment and uh, rate it. And if you like my channel uh, please subscribe. And I'd also like to give a shout out to The Simple Tutorials um, who does cool Mac tutorials of things you might not have seen before. So uh, thanks for watching.